All right, today we're bringing together a classic Japanese sashimi technique and a, uh, a really common combination found in the south of France in the Provençal uh, style of cooking. So this is my tuna tataki Provençal. And uh, here we go. We're going to start with some really super fresh wild sashimi grade ahi. Now, when you see that grade, that just means that is the freshest, highest quality. And yes, it was very expensive, but worth it because this you can eat raw which we're not going to exactly, okay? What tataki means is sear the outside. So I'm going to cut that fillet. I took one of those fillets that was about nine ounces altogether. So I have two four and a half ounce pieces here. All right, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to sear them, slice them, and make for a nice presentation. Now traditionally, before you uh, do your tataki of tuna, you're going to do some kind of marinade or some kind of rub. So I'm going to do a dry rub here with uh, some Provençal style flavorings. I have some uh, dry fennel seed I just put in there, about a third of a teaspoon. That's a little shake of cumin. All right. I got some black pepper, maybe half a teaspoon. All the amounts, as always, are on the site. I hope if you're just watching these videos on YouTube that you check the blog, Food Wishes, for all the details and story and information. And then I threw in about a teaspoon of salt there. And just give it a mash with your mortar and pestle. Basically, we're just trying to break up those fennel seeds. Uh, it'll release the oils, the flavors. It'll also, uh, you don't want to be biting into a big fennel seed. So that's pretty much ready to dust our beautiful ahi tuna chunks. So make sure you get all four sides. See, because when we sear these, we're going to sear them on all four sides. So I want to make sure all four sides are flavored. All right. And, you know, it's pretty interesting watching me dust spice on a piece of fish. Let's let's watch let's watch a little longer. Here we go. Hmm, that looks just like the first side. Alright, I'm sorry I should have edited that, but it gives me a chance to tell you how delicious this dish came out. By the way, you meat eaters, oh I don't like fish. This is way closer to a medium rare filet mignon than it is to any piece of fish. So uh, I'll I'll lecture you at the end here, but you gotta try this. So in a hot saute pan I drizzled a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And we're going to sear for exactly one minute per side. Now, at the end, you'll see how raw it is in the middle, which is the idea of tataki uh, sashimi. They sear the outside, they slice it really thin raw, and eat it with the traditional sushi accompaniments. Uh, we're using the same technique here, but uh, we're going to serve it on a uh, Provencal uh, blood orange tapenade that we made yesterday. Hope you saw that clip. So, uh, and again, I'm doing uh, quick cuts here with the time lapse. So that was one minute on the first side. We're going to go one minute on the other side. All right, so basically I want the first, I don't know, eighth of an inch, quarter inch to be cooked, and then I want a nice raw red center going through the middle. So that was one minute on that side. And uh, let's see, if my math serves me correctly, four times one, four minutes, you're going to be done. And then you're just down to slicing and presenting. All right. Now you could serve this completely cold, let it cool all the way down, and then slice it. All right. If you want to do like a cold uh, appetizer plate, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice this warm and serve it as is. Now watch this. When you go ahead and slice this stuff, it is so beautiful. See, just that first eighth inch, quarter inch is seared. The inside is still raw. And again, if you, oh, I don't eat fish. I love rare filet mignon, but I don't eat fish. This is, this will taste, this is such a buttery, delicious texture. It will be better than any filet mignon you've ever had. So if you can find sushi-grade ahi, there's my blood orange tapenade we made yesterday. If you can find this, which you can, all right, if you look hard enough, that will be an incredible experience. I mean, it is. It's just like butter. It is so tender. It is not a strong flavor. Um, the sweetness and the sl slightly saltiness of that olive and uh, blood orange tapenade citronette we did yesterday, perfect with this. By the way, I'm going to demo those um, see-through herb potato crisps, little chef trick. I'll show you that in, the, in another demo. All right. But anyway, really nice bringing two cultures together, a uh, Japanese technique and a uh, south of France Mediterranean uh, flavor profile. Delicious. I hope you give that a try. And... Enjoy.